we're going to be doing box fill. I wanted to notice here that we got three cables coming into this box. These are all 12 2 with ground cables. There's one cable right here, there's one cable right here, and one cable right here. Plus, we're going to be installing a 20 amp receptacle. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six conductors. See, these are, these are conductors. The black and the white wires are conductors. And then we got three ground wire. So the first thing we gotta know is what is the cubic inches of this box? Now, it states in the code that all plastic boxes have to be stamped inside. It says Carlin outlet and switch box 20.3 cubic inch volume. It says right here in article 314.16A2. Non-metallic boxes shall be durably and legibly marked by the manufacturer with their volumes. So you need to know that. We can't go over 20.3 cubic inches. The first thing we're going to do is get all the grounds together. This is a four port ideal insure wire connector. So I'm going to take and put that one all the way in. See it snaps right in and you can see it. See it's a clear area right here. So you can see that that's a very good connection. And I'm going to take this one, put it in there. Take this ground wire. Put it in there, and I have a jumper right here. I've prepared a jumper. I'm going to push that in. Okay, so now you can see all four connections right there are very good. You, you can see it in the, in the clear area. So I'm going to go ahead and push this back into the back of the box. And here's our ground wire. All right, so the ground wires are all pushed back into the back of the box. And here's my pigtail uh, ready for the receptacle. Now I'm going to get all the neutrals together. We'll push one neutral in like that. Push another neutral in like that. Push another neutral in like that. And then here is a pigtail that I have prepared. We'll push this one in. I'm going to be installing the receptacle with the grounds down. So that means that the neutral is going to be on the left side like this. So I would like this uh, jumper, this neutral jumper to end up on the left side, you see. So I'll go ahead and push this in. So there's your neutral pigtail on the left hand side. So you got the ground down here we want it. We got the uh, neutral on this side where we want it. Okay, I'm going to take another ideal insure push-in wire connector. That goes in there. Okay, I've got all three of the black hot wires in the wire connector. Now, this is a pigtail that I have prepared. I'll take a push it in. Okay. Now, you see the uh, black hot wire will be on the right-hand side, so we want this to wind up on the right hand side so let's see where we have some space I got a good space back here for the connector so I'll go ahead and push that in like that so this is a good place to end off and go to the code book but look we're going to be putting in a receptacle it's a 20 amp receptacle and I have uh, pigtails I got the ground pigtail, the neutral pigtail, and the hot pigtail already. Now my question for you is, this is a 20.3 cubic inch box. Do you think there's enough space in this box per code to also include this receptacle? What do you think? I'll have a tip for you. It's very close, one way or another. We're going to go to the code book and find out but make your guess if you're with a friend maybe make a little wager <laughs> but we're going to the code book right now and this is table 314.16b volume allowance required per conductor and over here we have 
free space within box for each conductor. Now remember, we have six 12 gauge conductors in our box. They each account for 2.25 cubic inches. 6 times 2.25 is 13 and a half cubic inches. So remember, we have 20.3 cubic inches. That's all we have to work with. So we're at 13 and a half right now. Now we're going to go over to number 4. This is 314.16B4. Device or equipment fill. For each yoke or strap containing one or more devices or equipment. So this is a yoke right here. Okay, so what they're referring to is one space on one single gang box. If you have a double gang box, then it would be uh, two yoke spaces. So in our example, we have one yoke containing one or more devices or equipment, a receptacle. So for each one of these, a double volume allowance in accordance with table 314.16b shall be made for each yoke or strap based on the largest conductor connected to a device or devices or equipment supported by that yoke or strap. Okay, so our largest conductor is number 12. And you see over here it's 2.25. So we have to count a double volume of 2.25. So that's 4.5. So the conductors are 13.5 cubic inches and the receptacle is 4.5 cubic inches for a total of 18 cubic inches. So remember, we only have 20.3 cubic inches and we're already at 18. Now let's see what else we have to add on. Okay, number five, equipment grounding conductor fill where one or more equipment grounding conductors or equipment bonding jumpers enter a box, a single volume allowance in accordance with table 314.16b shall be made based on the largest equipment grounding conductor or equipment bonding jumper present in the box. So all of our ground wires are 12 gauge. So we're going to take one 12 gauge wire allotment. So here we are, it's 2.25. So add that to 18 cubic inches and we have 20.25 cubic inches. So we only have 20.3 cubic inches to allot for everything in the box. So what about the wire connectors? According to the code, how much space do they take up? Now here we are at 314.16b and it says right here no allowance shall be required for small fittings such as lock nuts and bushings so how about the three pigtails do they count okay here's a 314.16b1 conductor fill and right down here it says a conductor no part of which leaves the box shall not be counted. So those pigtails start in the box and they don't leave the box. So they're not counted. So now we have the final count. It is 13.5 cubic inches for the conductors. 4.5 cubic inches for the receptacle. 2.25 cubic inches for the ground wires. And that comes out to 20.25 cubic inches. And the box is 20.3 cubic inches. So this box passes. So now we know that you can put three 12 2 with ground cables and a receptacle in this 20.3 cubic inch box but it just barely fits. What I really recommend is you go with a little bigger box like this 22.0 cubic inch uh, made by Carlin and uh, the 24.5 cubic inch made by Carlin. And they're actually, both of these are a half inch longer than the 20.3 cubic inch box. 
but they do fit in two by four walls. And then uh, we've got this one right here. Uh, this opens up and see there's some extra space right here, but it is a single gang box. And this one's uh, 30.0 cubic inches. So you can think about using that too if you need a lot of space. So I'll put links for all these boxes in my video description. Uh, they have them at Home Depot and also. And uh, you know, Home Depot buys these by the hundreds of thousands. So they have pretty good prices on them. I'll also put links for the different kind of uh, wire connectors uh, used in the video like the ideal push-in wire connectors in the various sizes they save space in your box too also I'll put links for the ideal push tail grounding pigtails they come with a threaded end that threads into metal electrical boxes and the other end is a pre-installed four port push-in wire connector thanks I hope this video was helpful 